Intro song done. Undefin on Discord done. Transition done. All right. We're back. We're back. Three weeks later, we're back. To the Neon Podcast. Oh, God. Three weeks, dude. Yeah, dude, we skipped two weeks and then we're back. Holy shit, dude. Holy. It's episode 92. 92, the last one of 2021, my dude. Yeah, we yeah, made it. We made it. And somehow we survived, I think. <clears throat> Questionable. Um, dying. We're, yeah, we're all dying, dude. But yeah, end of 2021. Hello. Hello. If you're watching in the stream or on YouTube, hello. I'm your host and owner of this podcast, Neon. Hi. Welcome to the podcast. And of course, joining me today, my co host slash bro king of the god of my brotion see you you moved up it's not even king you're god of the brotion my bro Sidon. camp hi hey, camp that's him dude that's him hello hi hello <laughs> how, are, how are you guys these past three weeks dude it was terrible where you been <laughs> yeah i, I, I missed you terrible dude. yeah you're down bad <laughs> I'm down dude i was i was actually watching some old podcast episodes I was watching the one where we were doing like relationship advice with like um uh Cinnabons and you were like, dude, we were talking about like the, the girlfriend incident with her and you were like, dude, I was you said that you were down bad. I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> I was down bad. Yeah, dude, you said you were down bad. That was funny. The girlfriend incident? Yeah, yeah. Your 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 girlfriend. Oh, incident bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were down bad. <laughs> Sounds like college me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, anyways, yeah, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to everyone, everyone who's uh watching. We'll do a call in episode, so if anyone's watching live, you know you can use command call and uh, you know. Okay, call us hot, hotline neon. Hotline neon, no, disc. Don't no, no. think of a better name, dude. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't like Travis? <laughs> no, no. Well, no, it's not like don't like Travis. I was like, I don't like hotline, dude. I don't like the word hotline, even though it is oh, technically it's would be. A... Yeah, dude, that's such like a 1990s, 2000s. Yeah, that's such a, a 90s thing. You're right. That's such a 90s, dude. Like we don't use telephone numbers anymore. We're not a radio show. We are a podcast run through Discord. <laughs> like, come True. on, dude. We we are ahead of the times. The, the the show is just like that though. <laughs> yeah, it's ran through Discord. It's well, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, you still get dragged in, so you know we have a system going on. We have a system in place. But yeah, right, it's fair. yeah, but uh, yeah, dude. There's, dude. Okay, okay. If there's one thing that's been going on the past like three weeks that you haven't, we haven't been podcasting, dude. It's been raining a lot here where we are. Like it's I, been, I, it, yes. I, I was in Texas for like the past two weeks. I, 
I I've only heard about the rain. Yeah, dude, it's been raining for like half the half the time for the past like three weeks. That's not even a lie. Um, that's a that's a good for California, I guess. No, Bad it is. Us. It is. <laughs> no, for sure it is. And like for for me, for someone that doesn't have to go outside, like it's not currently a necessity because you know I don't have to go outside and go to work or I don't have to go to a gym to work out and stuff like that right like it's not that big of a deal because i don't have to go outside but yeah dude that's a lot of rain coming down in our in southern california right now i'm actually it's it's cold but it is nice to know that we're getting a lot of rain in december so it's matching the season i think this is the one year actually in a long time that we've actually had four seasons dude in Calif- in our part of Southern California, we've actually had four seasons, very oh. distinctly. Do you think fall was a season here? Yeah, I think fall was a season. Like like I said, I didn't go outside, but it definitely like the temperature dropped. There was like one week where it was a heat wave in fall, and that sucked. But other than that, it felt like fall, dude. It felt like fall. It was yeah, definitely it cooler. Like, I guess it felt like fall for like a week or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but at least we had four distinct seasons this year. Like I was surprised. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, like I'll, we, yeah, I, I think will, we have more re- distinct seasons. I will reluctantly agree. <laughs> as some, as someone else who doesn't go outside. <laughs> yeah, what a what, what what is the weather to me? You know. Yeah. It's just me and my uh, my air purifier. That that's my weather. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. But honestly, though, like, like I posted this on Facebook. But like as a like you know Facebook status, who does that anymore, dude? No one posts Facebook status anymore, dude. Everyone just posts memes, photos, or Instagrams videos yeah, and stuff. stuff. Yeah, no one puts just a normal status anymore. So I posted a Facebook status earlier today, and um, Probably. yeah, I did. <laughs> and uh, I was like, dude, all well, I've been thinking about this for like the past week or two. I was like, but this, be- but because of the rain, right? I was like, dude, I really want to go snowboarding. That, there's a lot of fresh snow in the mountains. So I'm just like, bro, that sounds is, really is, fun. Is it actually snowing in like like Big Bear and like wherever yeah. right now? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, that sounds so fun, actually. Because, you know, when it's... I was talking to one of my friends off stream about this. It was like, dude, you know, in the winter when it's not... We don't have rain or like, you know, precipitation or whatever of snow. Um you know, usually the ski the snow resorts usually have to use their snow machines and make man-made snow. Usually not as good, not as soft. Um, is, isn't that expensive? Yeah, it is. Like yeah, but, you know, the cost, the, the price they sell for obviously offsets. So that's well, the, the sure ski limit. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, you know, obviously because of that, it's it's packed down because it doesn't snow naturally. But now that it's like, you know, raining a lot in our area and snowing in the mountains, dude, there's a lot of fresh snow um, up in the area. So it's like, you know, there's constant amounts of new snow and, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't get packed down as much. It's a, it sounds like something like really nice to go snowboarding and skiing to. So I really wanted to go snowboarding, but I don't have snowboarding gear. I just want to go. <laughs> I mean, can't you rent it if you go to like a like a uh, snowboarding like a resort or something, whatever? I could, park. but usually you would more often. You know, Actually, they, do, they what what do they call it? Like a park, a resort, technically. A resort, okay, okay. Yeah, like a ski resort. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but. You know, it's usually marked up at the resort. It's like, you know, if you're going to go rent it somewhere off site, you know, like at, oh, a, okay, at, yeah, at sure. a local shop nearby you, it's better that way. And then just go and do it rather than it's the same thing at Disneyland. It's like, you know, you could get it at Disneyland, but you can get it somewhere <laughs> off somewhere else cheaper. You know what I mean? Yeah, fair. Yeah, it's the same concept. It's like, you're, you want to rent it? Oh, man, you should have bought your brought your own. And then oh. so. <clears throat> um, well. Yeah, and um, it's yeah. gonna rain tomorrow too. Correct. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this fresh snow is gonna work, but uh, come the new year, it's gonna be sunny. I know, but I do wanna. I do wanna. I mean, snow is snow, dude. Like it'll it, at least it'll help cover the ground for like a few days. You know, it's I mean, not. Yeah, it's dude. not gonna melt overnight. So, um, like, yeah, you you'd be surprised, California. <laughs> True, that's true. <laughs> Honestly. 
but you know maybe maybe if i can go if i have the chance the opportunity to go snowboarding in the next month uh or so that'd be really fun i would like i would like have the time of my life and like a workout of my life <laughs> call your boy victor come back down to socal i know dude. he's actually <laughs> back he's actually back in socal for a bit oh, yes? yeah we actually grabbed dinner on monday monday oh, nice yeah 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 yeah, he was the one with me, Joven, and Jess, and uh, yeah, we went to a uh, fucking uh, Shinsengumi Yakitori. Oh, you know, a place you can easily like rack up the 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 bill, which yeah, the, the sticks, dude. Yeah, dude. Like you know, it's good, it's good meat, but it's not a place you want to go to if you want to like eat your fill. You know what I mean? Like for cheap, it's not cost efficient. So true. Although I did have some wagyu beef there on the stick. And the last piece, like, definitely just melted in my mouth. I'm like, holy. Damn, did, did it make you get, like, another one? No, it didn't. <laughs> like, the first two pieces were, like, the meat, right? The meat, a little bit less fat, you know? It was pretty good, mm -hmm. delicious. But then the last piece had, had, like, it looked just like the first two pieces, but it had way more fat on it. Yeah. And it just melted. I'm like, holy, wow, that was really good. <laughs> And, like, I'm pretty sure that that's how they put it on the stick. Like, they purposely did that because, obviously, you'll eat it in order. You'll save the last piece for Oh, yeah. oh you, you say it's, like, three three pieces of meat on one stick. Yeah, that costs 10 oh, bucks. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Because <laughs> it's Wagyu, bro. So, um, yeah, it, it was, I think that was the first time I've actually had, like, real Wagyu that wasn't, like, chunked or super thinly sliced, you know, at, like, a quote-unquote Korean barbecue spot. So, it was really, really good. I mean, is it is it wagyu beef just like just like beef that was like grown in Japan? Yeah, wagyu is only in Japan, but exactly, it's just a term. But it, like that last piece was really really good. So, yeah. ten bucks. So I, I I paid for three three cubes of meat on a stick for ten bucks, dude. Um, I sure hope it was worth the ten bucks. I don't know, maybe it, supposedly it's supposed. To, you know, they they're <clears> actually <throat> selling like a five wagyu in fucking Costco. Nah, no way, dude. No, I, sh I swear <laughs> they have they sell they're selling the steaks again. Yeah, that shit will be like a one by the time it gets to your freezer. <laughs> no, dude, it's a five. It's it's in the freezer. They had like it had each piece has like a certificate, I'm pretty sure. And then fucking, it's ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents per pound. So for a pack of two steaks, a little under two pounds is like it was like a hundred seventy. Bro, <laughs> bro. For two steaks, I swear. You want a picture? I took a picture. Yeah, I'll, I mean, send, I'll send you. The hey, thing. man! Hey, if if you if you cook it and uh, it tastes amazing, then uh, I mean, shit, <laughs> dude! I would be scared that I would fuck that up so bad. Yeah, man. No, uh, it's it's not just about the meat, you know. It's, it's it's about the cook too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here, look at the look at the photo. I just sent you the the photo. I DM'd it in the group chat. Japanese A yeah, five. Like look at that marbling though. Like, look at that fat cap in the middle, dude. Yeah, dude, it looks like such a scam. <clears throat> Come on, dude, but you haven't seen beef that marbled before. That much fat riddled in, holy. But yeah, anyways, I would not buy that because I don't, I don't, when I want to treat myself, I don't think that would be the right way to treat myself because I feel like no, I'd fuck I'm it up. Myself, I'm not going to Costco, you know. <laughs> hey, man, Costco got some sleeper items, to be honest. I mean, they do, but it's like, when I'm going to Costco, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get efficient. Dude, who knows? Dude, I think that's actually cheaper, buying it from Costco, even though it is, like, frozen. Because, I mean, it has to be stupid. frozen. No, 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 than trying to buy it from, like, another butcher that's, that is, like, licensed to sell Wagyu, you know? Oh, I mean, I guess. But it's I mean, definitely still me. cheaper, though. I mean, TVH, if I'm going to work with A5B, I'd rather not make it myself, you know? <laughs> okay, fair, fair. Come on, dude. You know, just a little salt, a little pepper, and just <laughs> fry it. Pan fry, dude. Easy. Uh, you first. Yeah. <laughs> Pay for it, bro. <laughs> you first. Dude, if you don't... if Dude, I'll cook it for... If, if the, your condition is you don't want to cook it, pay for it. I'll cook it for you. I'll have some. <laughs> Nah, dude, that sounds like a scam, dude. I'm nah, good. dude. Nah, dude. I have a Costco membership. We're fine. <laughs> you guys hear this chat? He's trying to make me buy him A5 Wagyu. No. Buy <laughs> us A5 Wagyu. Come on, man. Uh -huh. This is a uh -huh. team effort. <laughs> a team effort with only my wallet in check. <laughs> hey, dude. Cooking is an effort, man. Cooking is an effort. 
don't don't get it twisted man don't get i it mean twisted. I, I i'm not gonna i'm not gonna disagree but no. <laughs> dude if you don't uh, want to fuck it up i won't you're like a less than an hour of cooking than like my hundred and seventy dollars or something whatever you said it was yeah man <laughs> the, oh, dude worth <laughs> Where yeah, the hashtag scam. No, no, right, no, speaking, no, no. Speaking of food, I'm gonna check on my pizza. Oh yeah, all right. I'll 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 describe what you're doing while you're gone. Yeah, dude. Sizzle, sizzle. All right. So, anyways, what Kep's doing right now? He said he's checking on his pizza. He he's, he said he was making some pizza in the oven, and like he put that like a while ago before the podcast and he was like you know 15 or so minutes into the podcast i'm gonna have to check my check the oven on the pizza you know it's probably gonna be done i was like all right yeah sure sure i'm like pizza i've had pizza well if he's heating up in the like he's making it in the oven right it's either like it's not di i mean it's not delivery but it could but it might not be di so I'm curious on what kind of pizza he'll come up with because obviously he's got to take it out of the oven. He's got to put that shit on like something on like something that won't burn his countertop. Then he's going to be like, he's got to cut it. If he's going to eat it right now, he's going to have to cut it and then put it on the plate and then come back. So this guy's going to be gone for like at least two minutes. <sighs> I wonder if we got DiGiorno or if we got like some other brand. Like, what is the other brand? The Red Baron. <laughs> I don't know. Like, and, and then there's like other brands like Costco. You can make at home. Pizzas. I don't really know what else, but that's, that's what he's done. That's what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's back. Alarm. Five more minutes, actually. Five more. God damn it, dude. Is it? It's. Is it DiGiorno? No, it's actually on my my relatives from Chicago sent us like six deep dish pizzas. Wait, what? And they came in today. Six? And what the like, hell? That's a lot. I'm like, bro, we don't have room for this, dude. <laughs> dude, I'll yeah, I have room for that. Give me one of those. <clears throat> Goddamn, yeah, six full deep dish pizzas. Holy shit! They're not actually they're not that big actually. But it like fits in like the, the mini oven. Mini oven. It's like a it's like a convection oven. You have a mini oven? oven? Yeah, we have like a mini oven. Interesting. We use it to like I don't know, bake some salmon maybe. <laughs> and, well, I mean I, I guess, sure. I don't know what a mini oven is, but yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I guess, I'll take a picture later. Yeah, sure. I mean, I technically have two ovens in my house. There's one bigger one. There is one smaller one, but I wouldn't consider it a mini oven. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But deep dish, that sounds good. Honestly, you know, New Yorkers hate deep dish because they don't consider it like pizza. But it's a pie, dude. It's a pie. Yeah, it's a pie. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a we had, we had a relative in Texas that though he was he was coming from um, Chicago. He's like he's like a teenager. So we, we kept teasing him, calling him deep dish. <laughs> wow, dude, that's messed up. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Like you don't you, you don't even call him like like anything that he does in Chicago. It's like what's up, deep dish? <laughs> it's because he's from Chicago. Yeah, pretty much, dude. It's pretty funny. Oh my my brother-in-law's idea. That's actually really funny. Oh my god, dude. Actually, no, but really though, like I actually do like deep dish quite a lot. Yeah, it may, may, maybe maybe my uh, maybe my cousin from Chicago like thought we really like deep dish because we kept saying that i don't know maybe that's why we got six deep dish pizzas damn dude that's funny <laughs> dude what a what a what a psychological mind trick if that's what he thought he was like what up deep dish <laughs> and they just like man you guys must really like me to be calling me deep dish and you must really <laughs> like deep dish you know what i'm gonna send these guys a bunch of pizzas <laughs> even his family you know it's like it was like his aunt sent it to us. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What a cycle! Oh, so your aunt overheard was just like, "Oh, they like deep dish. Okay, sure, let's yeah. get some pizza." Yeah, the the, the guy we're teasing was like, "Uh, my technically my nephew." Mm -hmm. So it's his aunt, so it's my cousin that sent it. Right, right, nice, nice, good one. <clears throat> Honest, all right. For me, 
all right i feel like because i've grown up on like you know fast food pizza chains costco you know it's relatively cheap pizza and i never had deep dish until i was in college um and like you know other nicer quote-unquote gourmet pizza you know Mm -hmm. you know i always think like my tier list of pizza is like number one pan pizza pan pizza great you know i love pan pizza pan pizza is good yeah because it's like you know it's got that the crust isn't dense but it's just fluffy it's fluffy chewy you know has a good bounce to it you know then toppings whatever toppings whatever but pan pizza really good my second would be deep dish deep dish is like god damn the sauce the crust and then the cheese that shit is like the hardiest of pizzas dude yeah, to be honest, you you're probably one of the few people I know that that likes deep dish. Yeah, dude. Like, I feel like no, I think it's just because not enough people have had deep dish. You know what I mean? Or like good deep dish, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, dude. Yeah. When I've had authentic deep dish, because you know there's this chain in the Bay Area called Zachary's. When I had it, I was like, dude, this is really good. And then you yeah, know, I, I don't think I've had good deep dish either. Like, like uh. Like a, like a freshly made deep dish. Yeah. Had, yeah. Yeah. And occasionally, you know, Justin is the one who introduced it to me because he was my roommate and like his mom would often go there. But, you know, when I found out about it after he introduced it to me, you know, me and my friends and, and they're like, dude, um, and the, like the NorCal locals know about it. Like my friends from Oakland, they're like, oh, you never had like, you like Zachary? So I was like, yeah, I really like Zachary. So we would actually end up going um, to Zachary's to like celebrate for like, we did it once. I think it was... Um, my my fourth year like after we finished finals um like before grad before i was graduating nice we were like dude where do you guys want to celebrate i'm like they're like yeah let's just let's just go eat at zachary's i'm like hell yes we we got we ordered a lift we went to zachary's we ate and you're like dude hey congrats i'm like thanks man this is great <laughs> well, we should we should find one that's like uh we find like a deep dish place close to us <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there was one that I tried that I got. I went with Neil and Errol to in um, Manhattan, I think. Yeah, the Manhattan Beach area, like off Rosecrans, I think, off the 405. And it was like pretty decent, you know, not bad, not bad for like deep mm-hmm. dish. Because I'm just like, I was just trying to find places to get good deep dish because there, there was that one time I was just really craving it. I think mm-hmm. you were busy. So I ended up going with Neil and Errol that one year. I actually made it into a YouTube video. Um, oh. Yeah, it was pretty good for deep dish, but you know, it wasn't the same like quality that Zachary's. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it it ain't no Zachary's, but it was still pretty good. It was definitely they made it like you know. So yeah, check on my pizza again. Go (laughs) check on go check on your pizza, man. (laughs) Sorry about that, dude. Deep dish looking ass. (laughs) Yeah, damn, dude. It's not DiGior. It's not delivery, and it's not DiGiorno. It is. Deep dish. It's another it's another D pizza. It's not pan pizza. It doesn't start with a D. It's a it's a P. Dan pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. But anyways. Um yeah, dude, deep dish. I've I've had like an underlying love for deep dish pizza. So it's pretty good. Pretty good, I would say so definitely not easy to make because you gotta have like a cast iron pan and shit like a big cast iron i think because you gotta get and then making the crust is probably the hardest part and then yeah but yeah there's there's always a lot of food going around man i guess we'll talk about food since we're on the topic when camp gets back on the uh what we ate for uh, the holidays since he was in Texas. This guy said he came back from Texas feeling feeling fat. So I want to see, I want to hear how fat he, uh, he ended up getting, you know? But yeah, for those for those, um, just chilling, it's. I feel like I've only had one place that originated in like New York style pizza, 
It's pretty good. Artichoke basils originate in New York. Theirs is actually really, really good too. Like that thin crust style, lots of cheese, different sauces. Because it was like artichoke pizzas, right? So it's not just like the marinara sauce. They had like their other like cream sauce. It's really, really good. So really glad to, to have tried that opportunity while uh, while in school for, you know, in the Bay Area at Berkeley. One thing I didn't realize, you know, it was like, it was actually... You know, not that common to have like a New York style uh pizza place. It's real interesting. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn dude. I think his pizza's actually done now if he's taking this long. So Yeah. What else is there? But yeah, there's not much else to uh to talk about while he's not here. Cause it's just like, man, snowboarding sounds fun. Just in general. So pizza, really good. But man, yeah, dude, his pizza's done. I bet he's trying to cut that shit while it's still hot. <laughs> it's trying not to um trying to break it <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, that's pretty boring. <laughs> Unfortunately, we could not get like a, a guest today. So it was chill. So now I have to wait for a camp to get back to uh need to wait to uh, for camp to come back. I'm legit just scrolling through social media while uh Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna just do a quick stretch. Honestly, we could come back. I'm gonna you're gonna hear like his plate and fork, on a potential knife like clinking on his on his dish, while he like unmutes himself on his mic. <laughs> Oh man. What do I talk about? I don't I honestly don't know what to talk about when there's no one in chat and Kemp's not here. Cause for a podcast episode, I'm just like, man. I should do an ad reading. I should find people to sponsor me. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I should ask my friend to sponsor me. He owns a side business or a main business. This episode of the Neon Podcast is sponsored by Blank. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I wonder what toppings are in his deep dish. You know, tomatoes, maybe some sausage, Italian sausage. Maybe some pepperoni at the bottom. Maybe, maybe, hmm. What else could he have? He could have... What is, what is normally in a deep dish, actually? I don't know. Because, you know, they all look the same, but I can't remember what's in them. <laughs> Let me Google this. Common 
toppings and a deep dish pizza various meats chicago style Crushed canned tomatoes, blah, 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 Parmesan cheese. That's really it. Hmm. It really, I guess it really just depends. <laughs> mozzarella. Thinly sliced mozzarella cheese. No, 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 no. No, that's the wrong song. What's the, what's the song for pizzerias? I forgot. Damn, he's been gone for at least like four minutes. I didn't think he'd be gone this long. <laughs> this $2,000 professional podcast masterclass just dropped this price to $25. What does that mean? What is this? Start your own digital empire with 24 hours of content on podcast fundamentals. What? It's a class? Why would I? What? Six lessons and one hour of content. What? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I know how to podcast. I don't need to pay any money to learn how to podcast. We're 92 episodes in. What the hell? But like, whatever. Even if people aren't here, doing a podcast is what we do. Oh my god. Lee, oh, I could talk about that. <sighs> you can talk about bleach. Oh, he's back. Wait, 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 he's wait. back. It took him. I'm it back. took him. It took him seven minutes, lads. I did cut, cut some pizza for um some people. I know. It's okay. Your people. I'll what, try it. What? what? Sausage. All right. Sausage. Nice. Sausage. Wonderful. Wonderful. That sounds like a good deep dish. Sounds like a standard deep dish. So, well, what deep dish do you like? When I don't know, dude. I looked it up. I'm like, what are st I legit? When you were away, I was looking up uh, standard ingredients in deep dish, and it was like, you know, other than mozzarella cheese, it was usually pepperoni or sausage in it. So I'm just like, oh. To be honest, I haven't had deep dish in so long that I forget what other potential toppings other than like mushrooms could be yeah, in so, a deep dish. Yeah, so the six that we got was like sausage, cheese, and pepperoni. Oh, okay. So it's pretty like standard. Very standard, yeah. Yeah, very standard, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Is it good? Num num num. Yeah, it's solid. All right, solid, nice. Yeah, I realized even if you gave me a deep dish, my ovens actually don't work right now. So oh, geez, I would, I would, I, I wouldn't know how they. I wouldn't it's know. Been like, it's been like a whole month. <laughs> we haven't done anything to fix it. We've just, we just. The only person who really uses the oven is me. So. Oh, because it's, like, it. <laughs> it's like I use it like, you know, once every other month, dude, to make salmon, to make, yeah. you know, if we need holiday ham, like, you know, spiral cut honey ham, you can use the oven for how that. Much is it to fix here? I have You're no off. clue, dude. I have no clue because it just didn't work one day. Like it was legit the day before Thanksgiving. Right. Damn, you should, uh, should get a quote or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows, dude? But yeah, it was legit the day before Thanksgiving. I was going to make my cheesecakes. So, you know, I could I can chill it in the fridge overnight. 
and then realized, shit, it's not I, like I was going to preheat the oven, right? Because, you know, it's got to warm up while I'm making like the batter and stuff. So then, you know, as I'm pouring, as I'm finishing, I'm looking at the temperature of the oven. I was like, why is it not going up? I put my hand in. It's not getting warmer. I like, I checked yeah, the yeah, other yeah. oven. It's not getting warmer. I was like, whatever, dude. Doesn't work. So I had to go it's cook two, it. Wait, see, you had two ovens and both of them just like didn't work? They're connected. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're connected. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why they didn't work. But yeah, dude. Speaking of food, man, you told me you got fat in Texas. Tell me more. Probably, yeah, I'm pretty sure I gained like maybe like between five and 15 pounds over there. That's a big range, dude. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say five to ten, but I was like, maybe I got more than ten. I don't know, dude. Damn, dude. I had a lot. I had so much. Oh. Holy, that's when a lot of food. I got there. Um, my first meal was uh, was a home cooked meal. It was uh, some ribeye and um. Damn, that was your first meal. Was fucking yeah, ribeye. So- you're buying some baked salmon. It was so good. Oh my god, dude! If that was your first meal and that wasn't even like Christmas yet, holy! Yeah, that was, that was like the appetizer. Dude, <laughs> imagine having ribeye and baked salmon as an app, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Every every day was was like that. What? They, oh my god, that's so they, much. They, they, they like knew I could. All right, so like I, I don't I don't see these guys very often. Like last time I saw these guys were like like two or three years ago before pandemic right and then they they, they know every time they visit I, I can eat whenever they come to california you know we just like treat them to food and it's like vice versa right right yeah. <laughs> oh yeah so i was just i was just eating like crazy over there every day for like two, almost two weeks damn dude um, what 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 are, what are, what are some, if if that was like every day like dude what what are some other really good food that you had? Uh, yeah, I think it was like notable. We 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 actually had the pizza place over there too. It was a uh, I can't remember what it's called, but they had like this meat lovers pizza, mm-hmm. and um, it, it looked like a like a, like a really like oven pizza, but at the same time it's like calzone. So it was like what a so calzone. It was, it was like the breading was on top and on bottom, so it was like a sandwich. And it was shaped like a pizza. It was kind of insane, but it was really good. So it was like a it was like a sandwich, shaped like a pizza. <laughs> what? You, you know when you cut it right, it looks like a sandwich. Okay, interesting. You know the slices, yeah, it was really good. Um, uh, some solid stuff. Uh, some stuff you get here in California, like uh, some of the Asian stuff. Like mm-hmm. some Korean fried chicken, one one of those. It was like a day we just had like some Korean food all day. Nice, that sounds pretty good actually. Yeah, the Korean fried chicken. We had some um, Korean corn dogs. Um, uh, I showed you today we had sushi. It was a fucking volcano. <laughs> mm, right, right, right. Um, damn, dude, you guys ate so well. What the hell? Yeah, I I ate too well over there in Texas. Everything was okay, dude. <laughs> There was this one time too. My uh, my my like parents went to go shopping like early in the morning. Okay. And um, they 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 go to the they go to the Asian store to get like fish because like they they're getting tired of eating meat all day every day. Right. <laughs> and uh, they come back. The, the, you you know what a buchi is right? Buchi. The, the, yeah, the like the, the sesame ball. The sesame ball. Yeah. You know how big this? It's usually like the size of like like a little bit smaller than a golf ball. Yeah. They fucking brought this Bucci. It was like mm. almost the size of a baseball. Dude. I was like, what the? Why f-? is that so? Dude, everything's bigger in Texas. What is <laughs> Texas size Bucci? <laughs> what the hell? That was like one of the funniest things I ever saw. Like a bit. Ba- wise. A ba- dude, that is huge. That's like as big as my fist. Can I have a pretty big hand? Holy yeah, shit. I, I, I don't eat breakfast, but I was like eating breakfast over there. <laughs> I was like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Holy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would try that. I'm not a, like a big Bucci guy, but no, nah, it's just uh, funny. I'm not a big Bucci guy either. It's just, it's just funny. Yeah, um, dude. my last meal over there was uh, oh, actually, um, can you guess what my last meal over there was? Texas, dude. Yeah, was it, it wasn't, it wasn't in Dallas. It was in El Paso. Dude, I don't know what that means, dude. I've never been. To, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't think you'll get it, but you, you, you throw, you throw out guess. 
dude el paso fucking yeah don't, don't think too hard about the location i don't know a hot dog no all right what is it i actually had ramen oh interesting uh, we, we went to this place in el paso it was actually really cool it's called fun noodle bar mm -hmm. and it was just a bunch of like noodles mm -hmm. so they had like like a like chinese beef noodle soup had ramen had pho they had like pad thai mm -hmm. so it was a pretty cool place nice i feel like that's somewhat similar to a place oh no but they don't have broth never mind it's, it's there's a place similar in berkeley where you can have yeah. different types of noodles and like yeah, different flavors like, but yeah this place was like both of those yeah but the place in berkeley didn't have broth so it was like just spices and flavors and stuff so interesting yeah, my, my, my parents really wanted like soup Nice, dude. Ramen. Yeah. Ramen in Texas. Before that, uh, the, the night before I had filet mignon. Oh, my God. That oh, thing was, like, my amazing. God, <laughs> dude. You kidding me? Oh, so good. Dude, it's like, who's paying for all this food, by the way? Uh, dude, my my, uh, my my relatives in Texas are pretty rich. Damn, dude. So they paid for all this shit. Oh, my God. I, I, showed, I showed you the picture of, like, the the lake house, right? It's, like, in construction. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, That's those insane. Guys are pretty well off. That's actually insane. So they were just like, hey, you want to eat some good food? Come here. <laughs> you like food, right? Come here. <laughs> you like food? Fuck, fuck, no, let's go. Man. You, you, you hungry? Fuck, let's go, dude. Oh, my God, I, I dude. was like, I was like, you want a snack, dude? Just get, get you like four tacos. I'm like, okay. <laughs> or that's not even a snack. It's a meal, I know. Or like for some people, that's a meal. For me, it's like right be in between a snack and a meal. Four is right in the middle. I was like, I think it was like my, my second to last day there. It was like oh the Tuesday. My God. It was like a Tuesday. We dropped off my sister and my brother in law at the airport. Mm -hmm. It was uh, me, my uh, me, my cousin, my uh, my niece. And on our way back, it was like, do you want to eat anything? <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I guess. Uh, but we, uh, we, uh, uh, I was like, I asked my niece, uh, what's good Mexican food around here? And it was like, uh, the, the, the tacos are in here pretty good. Okay. Just give me some tacos. I'm just like, wait, I thought this was a snack. What the hell? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah y'all, y'all ate it so good. Oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Next, next time you see me, hopefully, uh, I'm, uh, I've lost a few pounds. I'm back to normal. You're back to normal. That's what you mean. You didn't, you didn't lose a few pounds. You're just back to normal. Yeah, yeah. You, you eat that. You eat that. I really wanted to um as soon as I come back I wanted to like you know like go back to my walking routine. Mm hmm But it was raining. Yeah, it was <laughs> fucking raining, dude. <laughs> Got him. Dude, I, when, when we were driving back, we we reached California, it started like pouring, dude. It was like and it was we're like a cabazon. It was like pouring and like there was an accident too, so we'd like it was fucked. <laughs> we we were supposed to we we came back like I think like two or three hours our expected return oh yeah dude we don't know how to drive in the rain bro yeah true californians don't know how to drive in the rain that's like fact so yeah that's interesting but yeah as for me did i have any good food for the holidays pretty standard some filipino food some american food had some really good tri-tip though well tri-tip like, yeah tri-tip is really good we actually had yeah. i still had some leftover and like I reheated in the air fryer and like put it in a sandwich. It's so good. <laughs> nice. The tri tip is something I didn't have in Texas. Yeah. Tri tip, you know, legit. Like, I was thinking about like barbecuing, but since we got a tri tip at Christmas. But, anyways, like, I, what me and Josh wanted to do is, uh, you know, just buy some nice meat at Costco or somewhere. Or I'm just like, so. just, just grill. Big Josh, right? Yeah, Big Josh. Yeah, and just grill at his house. I was like, dude, I got him meat thermometer dude low and low and slow for a little bit yeah, and then yeah, see that shit fancy dude <laughs> no dude it's, it's like 10 bucks off amazon okay it's not even fancy you know it's the fancy one the one that's on a probe that you can like stick in your oven and it's like there's a wire oh, that's, that's, you. that's the, what you're trying <laughs> yeah those are the fancy ones wait, wait, which one do you got it's the one it's just like a probe it's just you stick it in oh you, you just stick it in oh yeah, yeah it's just that, that's, not, that's what i was thinking yeah, it's a digital one, so it's ten bucks. Sure. It was, yeah, I don't have the fancy one with the wire like you, that you can put in like oil or oh. the oven. I don't have that one, so yes. No. 
That's like SpaceX right there, dude. Yes. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, two amateur chefs do that. SpaceX tech. That's uh, that's, that's that shit. Like they're gonna use that shit in space. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even cook in space. <laughs> Everything's yeah, like pre prepped. Right. Right. They can't even cook in space. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. Yeah, dude. Um, another thing I want to talk about my trip was the was the drive there. Oh, go go, go ahead, dude. Dude, the ten is like fucking empty. <laughs> the ten what past what Pomona past Pomona. California is fucking empty. <laughs> yeah, dude. Why would anyone drive on the ten when there's no major cities there? Once you leave California, like, there's like, nothing the, there. Yeah, the only thing we passed by like Phoenix. Yeah, yeah which is expected. Phoenix. Yeah, but we didn't even stop by Phoenix. Oh, you just, just drove through it? Because we weren't like tired or anything. We we're just like just drove past it. Gotcha. We should have stopped by though. But um Dude, how yeah, long how long was it to, to just get to Phoenix? Like how many hours? I think I was asleep. Oh, <laughs> I thought I you were driving, asleep. dude. You lied. My, my dad was driving, and then I drove after because oh. we we take, take turns. Right, right, right. You don't. Yeah, and if I wasn't driving. I was sleeping. <laughs> right. Okay. <coughs> That's fair. Yeah, so but you... yeah, after after Phoenix is like actually nothing. Oh yeah, that makes sense because you're not passing by any major cities in New Mexico. Yeah, or New ne- Mexico is like as you, if you 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 would like not have like like if you told me like New Mexico is Arizona like I would have believed you. <laughs> it's just it's just the same thing. It's just empty desert. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's more rocks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Yeah. The, the only way you'd know is if you look at a GPS or if you saw a sign "Welcome to New Mexico." <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was more impressed at how big Texas was. Fucking, it takes like ten hours to get to get from Dallas to El Paso. Cause of traffic that's, or what? With no, that's like no traffic. Wow, dude. That's, that's, Wait, that's, El Paso? That's, that's all the way in the south, right? No, El Paso is all the way. That's like the border east of uh. Texas. Oh shit! It's east, east. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so 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 we took like a day to. Uh, we, we take like twelve hours to go from California to El Paso, and we stayed a night there. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the trip was uh, to go to Dallas, nice. and we did the same thing going back. Well, at least y'all made it. Be- get got there and came back in one piece. So that's yeah. Was... Um, yeah, it was fun. I, I would love to do it, friends. Nice, dude. Yeah, dude. We're, we'd definitely stop in Phoenix, though. <laughs> Yeah, dude. we we definitely stop in Phoenix. So yeah. uh, it it definitely made me look forward to uh, our trip. If you go to Vancouver, no, yeah, dude. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you go with friends, the only issue is like you know if you're traveling and people are sleeping in the car, then you can't really be loud. So, yeah. but yeah, driving driving's fun, dude. Bay oh, area no. Bay area seven hours. No, maybe like seven to eight hours if we take PCH. Uh, maybe eight to nine actually, because it's we'll stop, and then yeah. yeah. Yeah, I learned that. Uh, don't 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 play music. Why? They play, play podcasts. Why? Dude, it'll help you stay awake. You, oh. If you, play, if you play music and you're just driving, like all you're doing is going straight, you're gonna like lose focus. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, no, I've done that. I've almost fallen asleep at the wheel one time when I was sleepy. Yeah, because literally the ten is literally just like a straight road. <laughs> I mean, there's like curves, but it's like. It's like straight for like hundreds of miles, dude. I would do and that. I would do. I would do that. I would play podcasts, dude. My boys on the trash taste would keep me awake. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's literally what I did. <laughs> I just replayed some of my favorite episodes. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm trying to catch up. I'm I'm trying to finish up the Jan episode. So. Yeah. Yeah. But. Man. Um. Anything else, Texas? Yeah, I just want to go back. I want to. I want to get on that boat. <laughs> what boat? Oh, what that, you, what are you talking take, about? I thought I took a picture of that boat. You did, but yeah, um, because okay, so they bought that boat, but the lake house wasn't done yet. So, oh, you didn't want to go on a fucking boat? <laughs> yeah, I want to go on a boat ride on that on that lake, dude. I thought you were actually. I thought you were actually riding it. You just got on, but you guys didn't go use it. No, it was like it was like parked in uh my cousin's house. Oh, I see. Because the lake house not done yet. <laughs> but yeah. the 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 dock was there. <clears throat> Man, I see, I see. 
But yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, you are the captain now, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, apparently, you don't need a license to like drive that. <laughs> you just need a driver's license. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds about right. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I don't crash it if I drive it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how you would crash, dude. Is there? There's nothing on the lake. True. Unless you like, you don't look where you're going, and you end up beaching it. <laughs> it's like it's like other people's ports, you know. Oh god, yeah, that's or docks, whatever. You, what do you call them? Docks, right? Yeah, docks. yeah, but you'd be nowhere near the edge, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, so you'd be fine. <laughs> Man, but dude, speak. Anything else? Anything else in California that was uh, noteworthy for you? Nah, dude. I mean, noteworthy, like in terms of personally speaking. Goddamn. Did you go to Disney while I was in Texas? I did. I did. Oh man, actually, yeah, I did. I met Carol for the first time in person at Disneyland. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Funny story was, uh, didn't that happen before you left? Uh, no, 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 no. Was, it was, it was gone. It was definitely while you were gone because you were like, oh, hey. yeah, I was, I was, you, I was, you were already in already Texas, gone, yeah. You were yeah, gone, already yeah. Gone. I remember so, I, was, I was seeing that and I was like, I was about to take a shower. <laughs> so yeah, I, I that means you were gone. That means Disneyland happened after the last podcast. So basically, I, you know, I was like bored, dude. I was like, Kemp's going to be in Texas. Fuck it. I'm going to go to Disneyland. I need to get, I need, I want to go somewhere. So I went to Disneyland, scheduled a, a day, Sunday to go. And I was like, man, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. You know, I planned it. Like I planned to go on the Sunday because, you know, people usually drop the day or bef- two days before so I, I scheduled it. I went, you know, I wake up the morning of, you know, because I have a pass. I'm not like in any rush to go there. I was going to go there around like two ish, one or two, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm just, you know, scrolling through social media and, you know, going through people's stories. I see Carol's story on Instagram. Carol's like, oh, Disney. I'm like, what? You're Disney today? She was like, yeah. I was like, what? I'm going to be there later. She was like, no way. He was like, for real? I was like, yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to, you know, eat some food and ride a couple rides. She was like, oh, what are you going to, what do you want to eat? And I was, uh, I was like, you know, the lobster mac and cheese bread bowl. And then like, literally as I sent that, she posts a picture on her story. It's the lobster mac and cheese bread bowl. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she was where like, oh, sh- where are you? Like, <laughs> yeah. And then what happened was, um, she was like, yeah, I'll show up later in a couple hours, you know, if it's okay to meet up with you. And she was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of third wheeling right now. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> so I came, you know, a couple hours later and I was like. Yo, I'm going to try and find you. Give me clues where you're at on your story. And I'm going to look at it. <laughs> I ended up finding her um, in line to Haunted Mansion. And yeah, we hung out with her and her friends for like a f- couple hours. They left before fireworks and uh, dinner and oh, stuff. Sure. Yeah. So, you know, I spent like maybe like four or five hours with them. Probably like four. Probably sounds like about right. Oh, you, oh, you, you were like there for a while then. You were there for like at least like what, six hours or something? <laughs> yeah, because I got there around like... One, Wait, what like is fireworks? Like a nine? nine? Yeah. Yeah, nine yeah. yeah, so I got there around like say two. Um because I thought I was gonna get there around three, ended up getting there around two. Mm. Um but yeah, he watched fireworks. Fireworks were delayed by about fifteen minutes because probably the wind. Um mm-hmm. so then you know, watch the fireworks and I headed out. Actually the the winter the winter fireworks at Disneyland, so good. Chef's kiss, dude. As someone who likes fireworks, really good. Mm. Um, also I found one of the best spots that isn't a reserved section for fireworks to see like the castle. It's actually such like, I was trying to, I was walking around for all the areas that you could sit down that weren't reserved seating. Right. And can I'm like, you see, like the fi- can you see the fireworks from like anywhere in Disney or almost anywhere. Right. But you know, there's like the places you get like, you know, on main street, right? Like yeah, you block yeah, off main areas. Street, yeah. It's like the main area, right? Yeah. Main street yeah. and behind the castle. Yeah. Um, so I found a place. I'm like, I was like going around. I'm like, is this, would this be a good spot? No. Nah, what about here? I uh, see trees blocking. What about here? And I saw, and I was like, this is the spot, dude. This is the spot where I would go to get the clearest shot of the castle with no trees in the way. You know, you, like you get to see all the fireworks. The only thing that it isn't, it's that you're not in the, sh- on the main street where you see all the other effects that they do. So it's really, really nice. Oh, all right. Maybe, maybe next time. Maybe next time, maybe next time when there's fireworks. So yeah, it was a it was a fun it was a chill day going to Disneyland. But yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to go on the seventh. Still still up for yeah, review. So, 
I offered to pay, yeah. Yeah, Rick, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's up? But yeah, I mean, like, all right, let me, let me I guess I can talk, talk about this, too. Speaking of, like, Christmas, right? Just like last year, there's a big spike in fucking COVID cases, right? Everyone's uh-huh. getting fucking together. And, like, you know, even if some people are vaccinated, they're catching it and stuff. And, like, man, recently, because, you know, Kemp, you've heard this. I told you in our group chat, but, like, because we, we were going to hang out and, like, exchange, not gifts, but, um, but exchange Birds. merch, merch, <laughs> yeah, that we paid for dying from yesterday's booster. Damn, Rick. All right, Rick, you want to join? Since we're on this topic, do you want you want to join the call? You want to join the podcast? Maybe we can talk about it. You know, all that good stuff. If you want, if you don't want to, you're good. Hey, you had your booster yesterday. Yeah, dude, he's got his booster, dude. He's boosted. That's why he's a <laughs> he's a masters level league player, but he's nice. boosted. So you know. Cool, dude. Then no, no, uh, no harm being an e girl. <laughs> Dude, I bet he only plays like Nami support or Lulu. <laughs> Occasionally the Seraphine, you know, they spice yeah. it up. Yeah. And if you're real if you're feeling really spicy, maybe a Lux. This is death bed. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, you good. Hope you feel better. But yeah, or, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about some like dumb COVID shit while you're like while you're yeah. actually appropriate. So, you know, family parties. One of my cousins who works in the hospital. That was at the family party. He was masked up all the time, except for when he was eating. He actually ended up testing positive for COVID. Um, and one of our other other cousins ended up catching it at the party from him. But fortunately for us, knowing that, knowing my immediate family caught it, um, and like we even took a test, we took a rapid test, and none of us were positive. So it's really good, really good. And then, and then, and then. Recently, you know, Joven, I got, I got, I told you, like at the beginning of the podcast, I got dinner with Joven, Victor, and Jess on Monday. And he was like, oh yeah, we're good, we're good. And then, um, Joven the next morning was like, oh man, my co coworker tested positive. I'm like, fuck, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, we're not good, we're not good. <laughs> we're not, we're not good, bro, we're not good. And he was like, I'm going to get tested tomorrow, which is today, right? He's going to get tested today. And he's going to, I was like, I'm going to, he's going to tell me the res- results. Hopefully it's negative. If it's negative, then I'm not going to test myself. If it's positive, I'm going to have to test myself for sure. But it's kind of bad because I've already, you know, interacted with my family. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, you can't help it at that point, you know? Exactly. You just got to hope for the best. Exactly. But I mean, then. No, your, whole, your whole family's boosted, right? Yeah, my whole family's boosted. It's, you know, except for like the kids. So. But then, you know what my sister tells me, right? My sister texts this morning of, or this afternoon. She was like, uh, my brother-in-law and my niece, they were singing in the singing for the kids' choir because he was one of the assistant directors, like mm-hmm. helping the kids learn the songs. And my niece was one of the, obviously the kids singing in the kids' choir at the church for Christmas yeah. Eve. And they just texted us today. They're like, oh, someone in the choir, someone in the choir tested positive. I'm like, are you kidding me? So it's not even no, if Joven wait, wasn't one, in, of the, one of the kids. Yeah, I don't know one of the kids or one of the adults. I don't know. Someone tested positive oh, okay. in the choir. I don't know somebody, right? Okay. So, anyways, I'm like, dude, it's not even if I was exposed because if they were exposed, <laughs> then it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, <laughs> fuck, we're all. <laughs> it, yeah, oh, yeah, the, it's hard to trace who 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 actually. <laughs> yeah, that I can't. That I yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm just like, yeah. fuck. So they're also getting tested today and like, but you know, we're all boosted except for the kids. So at this point, like, you know, everyone who's boosted, they're like, oh yeah, we're fine. You know, people aren't like overly sick uh-huh. or anything. They're everyone looking all right. Everyone's feeling. Uh, the boosters doing its job. Yeah. Yeah. No one's going to the hospital. Everyone's doing their, you know, just mild symptoms. I'm like, oh, that's good. That's good. And I'm over here just like, you know. I don't know if I, like, I had a sore throat even before I got dinner with, like, Joven and them, right? So I was like, maybe it was, I'm just like, I have a cold. So, right? Because yeah. this, this was after I got tested. So I'm just yeah, it's like. Been, it's been really cold, so I mean, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, but, like, this is what happened last time. Like, someone thought we had a COVID scare, in, like, in the immediate family, right? Like, um, like my sister. Thought she got another COVID COVID scare, but in fact it was actually my 
my niece who just gave me a cold, like a slight cold. So all I had was a sore throat. And this is the same thing. Yeah, but it's the same thing. It's like I have a sore throat. I'm not like coughing. I don't have a fever or anything. I'm just like, it's like, it's not even like sore throat. It's just dry, you know, occasional, occasionally dry. If I don't drink water from time to time, it'll feel a little bit dry. Mm-hmm. But other than that, you know, all my senses are fine, smell, taste. I'm like, dude, I feel like I would, if how I have, how I know I have COVID, I can't taste anything, you know? So, yeah. But I don't know. If worse comes to worse, my whole family would have to quarantine and then we just not go anywhere for two weeks and we, we, we wouldn't go to Disneyland. So, yeah, what the, what, what's different? <laughs> dude, I don't know. That's true. That's true. I don't even leave anywhere. That's dehydration. You know, honestly, Rick, that might just be dehydration. I've honestly just not been, <laughs> not been, um, you, you don't have a hydro homie with you, dude. You, you, you're not getting, uh, hydrated. Yeah. And also and be like, maybe I just wake up with just like a dry throat because, you know, w- because it's been raining recently. Right. Like my family started turning on the heaters. So, oh, so yeah. when I'm going to sleep, I wake up, it's like dry. <laughs> Can you sleep with your fucking mouth open? <laughs> yeah, fu- <laughs> fucking mouth readers. <laughs> yeah, no, that's no. It's definitely the worst after I wake up. So maybe it's just the heater. I don't know. You know. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's usually fine. I feel like I'm fine. Hydro homie might have COVID. <laughs> that's true. Joven's supposed to be my hydro homie, dude. My hydro homie, double O. But um, yeah, it, it's. It's interesting that, you know, it's the same thing as last year. Like I legit looked at the new cases like from yesterday uh, in just California. I think we're on track to be on similar numbers the last year. We had like, Damn. we had like, is it 18,000 or 42 yesterday? I it, Or I think it was 42, but the average t- seven day was, um, was 18. Hold on. Let me look this up. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, yes, yeah. wild that like yeah this this year like a lot of people got vaccinated. I think California did really good, right, for vaccinations. Yeah. All right. See, but... just yesterday, forty nine thousand new cases, seven day average twenty k. <coughs> oh, thank you, wow. Rick. Thank you for the hydrate. Uh, but it's like, but it's also the people who are vac- who are already vaccinated, still getting tested positive. Like my cousin yeah. who 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 got tested positive at the family party, he's a nurse and he's already boosted. So yeah, was he asymptomatic or? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, at yeah, the party, I mean, he, he looked fine, to, but he yeah, was just visited, wearing a I mean, mask. At the party, he looked fine. So I mean, but yeah, so I, I, I had like yeah a lot of I've I've heard a lot of people just like you know they they don't they look like they're fine, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I know someone else that recently. Tested positive positive for COVID like the week before Christmas, week of Christmas. Um, and they're staying home as well. I'm like, dude, that sucks. Yep. So I'm over here just like, dude, if I if I'm already like cont- like have it, I'm just like, man, I don't feel shit. Hey, <laughs> like other than this, like this sore throat or not sore I mean, throat, this dry it's, throat. It's not a sore it's throat. Fine. Yeah. It's like, it's like fine. I mean, I guess you just gotta be careful with your family. That's what I'm saying. But I'm like, if we all catch it at the same time, I guess it's okay because. That means, you know, we're not going to spread it to anyone else because we don't have anything else planned for the next month other than, like, me going out to Disneyland or trying to go snowboarding. So, yeah, you know, like, look at Rick, dude. He's already dying from just a booster, dude. Imagine if you got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be fine now because he's boosted. Exactly. No, dude, he's been boosted. Legalized. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude. But thank you. This guy's, like, the maximum boost. So you should be, like, fine. Maximum <laughs> boost. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's funny. No, but for real though, it's like I want to. I want to go. Rick, have you ever gone snowboarding? Would you like to go snowboarding? <laughs> Would you like to go snowboarding? I actually want to go with after he all this. Already, he he's, already he's not. He's knocked out. He's knocked out. He's like. He's like, I don't want to listen to these guys anymore. Shit talking me. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm tired of being called boosted. <laughs> nah, nah, he's fine. You know how I know he's fine? He 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 said, lol, your whole family is boosted after I told <laughs> He's fine, bro. He's just he's in bed. He's fine. He's yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, dude. Um going going like Arizona. 
I um, can barely type. <laughs> I was like, Arizona was like Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, all those guys, man, they they don't want to, they didn't want to wear their masks. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a mandate, dude. Yeah. Give me, give me healing potion, dude. Healing potion heals you for HP, but not status affliction. True. <laughs> you could be poisoned be like oh i'm poisoned drinks healing potion you'll gain like 20 like 15 hp but then you're just gonna lose it again poison damage yeah sounds like you need a long rest <laughs> nah dude let me let me heal you with my lay on hands <laughs> oh yeah there's uh you need the fucking like restoration or whatever spell <laughs> no actually i can actually uh using five stacks of lay on hands instead of five hp gained i can use it to uh remove status affliction oh that's op I think. Oh. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it... Or, let me let me double check right now, actually. What, wow, dude, in the middle of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, if you can check, if you can check your fucking pizza for seven minutes, I can look at my fucking lay on hands, dude. True, I'll just take a bite out of this pizza. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. I can use five points to either cure a disease or neutralize a poison. So not a status affliction, just disease or poison. Yeah. So if you ever get poisoned, come to your boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's what it is. What else can we? What, what, dude, oh man, I guess since we're an hour in, we've been talking about like we've what we've missed in the past like three weeks, right? When do we get to to learn the new items, dude? Oh, that's on you, Rick. Uh, um, what items? <laughs> the magic items. <laughs> Oh yeah, because it, apparently oh. it only it only takes a short rest of you sleeping with the item to know its full abilities. Anyways, um, you know, let's let's talk about twenty twenty one as a year now, and uh, close it out, dude, because it's it's been it's been a year, dude. If if you thought if if I thought twenty twenty was a year, twenty twenty one also been a year for me. <laughs> So there's, I feel like there's a lot, a lot to unpack in the next couple minutes. <laughs> any, so any, you want, you want to just tell everyone what happened or what? What? I mean, this year or what? No, yeah, you, dude. You, you, you be autobiography for 2021. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So the, so fucking, <laughs> yeah, dude. What happened? January. I was like, man, your boys, your boys depressed. <laughs> It's like nothing happened to me this year. I was like, okay, I'm just listening to you. Yeah, dude. I mean, boy, your boy came into 2021 <laughs> depressed. I'm like, fuck. You know, fucking winter depression, all that good shit. Right? Oh, happy new year. Fuck. 2020's over. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then February, I got let go of my job. But good thing is, I got unemployment pay, which is actually a lot. <laughs> so I wasn't even tripping. So I got laid off from work. Be decided to become a more dedicated streamer. Or like myself and Kev Jumba, so that was really cool. Got to meet up with him a couple times, so that was really fun. Um, what else? What else did what happen this year? Dude, Disneyland reopened. Dude, we reopened this year. <laughs> Disneyland reopened. Disneyland reopened August. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh yeah, because we got our pass with October. Yeah, Disneyland opened in August. Passes opened in October. Dude, the world started reopening in July. That was in I California. From, like January to like fucking August. <laughs> no, okay, because nothing really happened in between January and August. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> other 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 than me streaming, nothing really happened. You know, <laughs> was that wasn't it before this two week break? We we were like we only missed like two weeks to the year, something like that. All right, let's see. We missed two weeks, the last two weeks. We missed, no, we did one for Thanksgiving, and we missed like maybe like a handful. Yeah, we maybe we lost like five this year. So yeah, that's, pretty good. that's pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. So we'll hit, we'll hit the ground running in 2022. Hopefully we'll have guests back on podcast because the past couple months, you know, people tra traveling still and enjoying their winter break. So it's going to be exciting. What else? We do, we went to Porter. In October 1st, you know, yeah. we skipped that, but, or like we're skipping a lot of summer. I didn't really yep. do anything in the summer. I went to the beach one time. Yeah. Porter was fun. Porter was lit. 
dude porter was lit porter robinson fucking live music fucking i love live music yeah so i was like man i don't potentially want to go out to more stuff but maybe who knows what else what else happened let's see we already talked about disneyland reopening did we did you do anything else interesting after its stuff reopened in july Mm, not really okay just met with friends nice you know nice let's see oh dude i went to dude went to the wedding got black i blacked out for the first time this year (laughs) 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 like we're already in no fucking november dude like this year this year's been short but um yeah oh dude um yeah the the, the debut i went to I, i i didn't even get to talk about that there was a taboo in Texas. Yeah, that, that's why I went to Texas. I thought you were going there for Christmas. No, I I, I was back here for Christmas. Yeah, whatever, We're... dude. Okay, go that, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That was the main reason we went there was the taboo. Okay, go. And I didn't know they were gonna have drinks. All right, because they're eighteen. Yep, but uh, there was drinks, and uh, I went hard. <laughs> but you didn't go as hard as I did, right? You didn't black out. I didn't. I didn't black out, but I'm pretty sure I drank more than you. <laughs> Yeah, because you had something in your stomach, dude. <laughs> you always had something in your stomach from this. From That's those... true, dude. Two oh. servings of that thing that 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 was like Pad CU, but wasn't called Pad CU. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it was my savior that night. God, dude, God damn it! Your fucking rice noodles, just fuck. Your fucking rice noodles, dude. Oh, like dude, that that sounds so good. If they're not like super dipped in sauce, dude, they will save your life. <laughs> Damn, that's a crunchy ass crust you got there. But yeah, dude. And you know, I blacked out for the first time at a wedding, made a fool out of myself. That was great. <laughs> um, what else? Um Yeah, and then Christmas happened. Christmas was honestly this year because the COVID scare and we had to cancel like, you know, my dad's side's Christmas party and my mom's side's Christmas party was really meh. This this year's Christmas and was pretty mid. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty mid. I mean, I mean, Christmas all all I, all I remember doing is eating anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what else? I'm trying to think of like other stuff. Let me look at my Instagram. I have to have posted shit on my Instagram. If there's anything, either monumentous or worth posting. You know, let me look. Disneyland, Port at the Beach. I went to San Diego quite a bit this year. Yeah, man, you went a lot. Let's see, I did some cooking this year. My nephew was born, that's right. That's what happened. He was born in the spring. Yeah, so yeah, my nephew was born in the spring. That shit was interesting, because, you know, I have to help babysit him for quite a bit. And yeah... It's really, it's really it because my, my, my fall and winter really consisted of like babysitting him a lot. So, Ooh, it took a lot. That's, that's 2021. It was eventful in its own way. Exactly. It was eventful, but like, like slowly eventful, you know? Oh yeah. The first, first like eight months were resident sleep for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's only stuff, but start, stuff started reopening. And then like for me. I kept knows this because we had we had to talk about it about like and stuff in general. But like, dude, for me this was like a mentally tough year. Uh, you know, questioning a lot of shit. So I'm not gonna get into too detail, but like, man, uh, it's a rough year trying to trying to deal with mental health. Yeah. So I'm just like, man. And then the next year I gotta get back into the groove of like really grinding it out for myself and. Yeah. But, you know, there's 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 this one thing, right? Other than the concert and being able to go to Disneyland from time to time, right? I feel like because of COVID and, like, personal other commitments that I couldn't, I couldn't explore, right? Like, I feel like this was my opportunity to go and travel, but I couldn't. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's, it's like, no, it's because a questionable I'm, opportunity, but um, I guess... <laughs> Dude, like questionable, at least like in the US, right? Like, so you know how many of my friends on their Instagram be like, oh yeah, I'm going to New York or I'm going to Miami. I'm just like, what the fuck? Right? <laughs> and stuff like that. 
or like Mexico, because I don't think Mexico fucking cares. Um, yeah, I, I guess like before, before uh, holiday season, like Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but... Like definitely way before winter, all before winter. <clears throat> yeah, would've been nice. So yeah, that's why I'm just like, man, it would have been a good time to maybe potentially travel. You know, even go like. Yeah, yeah maybe you should have taken that road trip, man. <laughs> Oh, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I should have taken that road trip. I took I took a road trip before you. <laughs> you did. Dude, you get to do everything before me, man. You get a you get a girlfriend before me, road trip before me, fucking this so salty. <laughs> <laughs> get to get deep dish at home before me. <laughs> it's not as good as whatever you had in in the barrier, dude. Yeah, you're probably right. I want to try, I want to try the Zachary's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's not gonna blow your mind good, but it's like you know, it's like solid. You know what I mean? It's rock solid, as Malphite would say. Yeah, you're uh, you're you're, te- you're tempering my expectations, and when I when I go over there, I'm gonna like lose he's gonna, all my clothes like he's, he's he's gonna <laughs> show Kugeki's way to fucking Zachary's in the Bay Area. We're good. if we go on a road trip, we're definitely gonna be eating a Zachary's for like dinner. Yeah. So. There's like three, there's like three locations. It's like Oakland, Alameda, and somewhere else near Oakland. So, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of future, though. Yeah, we're gonna eat a Zachary's. Be like, hey guys, this is the place that me and Justin will we'll, we'll meet up with Justin. Be like, Justin, meet us up at Zachary's. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll eat. But yeah, but I wanna. That's how I was like, dude. What if I just disappeared for like a a week and a half? <laughs> like by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- luck, I legit thought about that. I was like, "What if I just disappeared for a week and a half?" You didn't say that might be good for you, you know. I mean, as long as you take care of yourself. Exactly. Somehow. Exactly. Yeah, you there, know, you, you, you there's like a, an update or something like every every other day or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, give someone an update. <laughs> give, some, give someone an update. Just be like, someone be like, <laughs> someone I don't even talk to regularly who doesn't even care, and be like, "Why are you sending me this stuff?" And be like. I have to update someone where I am. They're like, why me? I don't know. <laughs> you just happen to be there. You just happen to be online on your social media. So yeah. fuck it, dude. It's gonna be like I'm gonna send it to Aaron. He's not even in the fucking state. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. Like message random on your Discord. <laughs> <laughs> One different person every day. They're gonna send him a city and we're like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> like, how did you get there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go uh, to Utah, you take a picture of Jello, <laughs> you send it to someone. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm gonna send it to fucking Spalding. It's like he's gonna be like, "What the fuck? Are you in Utah?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Nah, dude, I'm I'm somewhere in like Oregon." <laughs> he's like, "Oh, okay, cool." Oh, yeah, dude, if you do that for a week, I maybe maybe it'll be good for you. Good perspective. Yeah, dude. Perspective on how expensive gas is. <laughs> True, dude. What the fuck, you in Utah? What the hell, Spalding's here? <laughs> True, dude. Dude, California is such a fucking scam. I'd like four dollar gas here, and then you go to fucking cross the border to Arizona, and the gas is like three something, <laughs> like three nineteen. <laughs> That's a whole dollar cheaper. Yeah, <sighs> it's like fucking like fifteen minutes into Arizona. <laughs> fucking yeah. scam. <laughs> I like how Spalding like Kate, like chats right at the right time. I was like, man. I'm summoning people in my chat. Yeah. Good one. So swelling. But yeah, yeah it, that's, I would, I'd be down to do that. I'd be down, but I can't. So, or I think I can't, but anyways. I mean, definitely can. You just got to pay for gas. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, gas isn't gas the issue. Expensive <laughs> gas for your expensive car. <laughs> gas, gas isn't the issue, Kemp. Gas is not the issue. Oh, oh, just, Fuck responsibility. <laughs> Legit, like tomorrow before New Year's, you'd be like re- reports and be like missing person. And you're going to see it over like social media. Missing person. Last seen in his room. <laughs> you just leave a note in your room. See ya. <laughs> and see you later, losers. But yeah, I mean, oh. did you not do anything other than like your Texas trip? Do anything? Or have anything interesting happened in 2021 that I didn't already mention? Yeah, I went to Disneyland. We had Porter. This Tyson trip was honestly probably the highlight of my year. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all that good food. Shit. 
Oh yeah, it's good. It's a good period. Uh, hanging out with family. Yeah, so I haven't seen these guys in like years. Damn. So good to see them. Nice, dude. Honestly, I can't wait for 2022. Just for like, I want Mark to come back. Our man's <laughs> gonna come back from the war. <laughs> the war against med med school. <laughs> yeah, the med school war is uh, keeps delaying itself, dude. Keeps yeah. holding our boy back. Yeah, dude. The med school is holding him back more than the U.S. military, <laughs> which is surprising. The med school, is the school system over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's so stupid. God, I hate it. They're like, hey, we're gonna make we we're gonna require you to have this thing to to graduate, but we're not gonna offer it to you because we don't want to. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm gonna I'm gonna smack a bitch, dude. And yeah, I met I met yeah. some I met some cool people. I think streaming a lot this year i met i met some nice cool people spalding one of those people oh well, technically i met spalding last year but spalding's cool got, sp got to talk with spalding in my chat this year i played kenshi this year hey <laughs> hey nice that's, that's a nice highlight bro um yeah there's a lot of people is there anyone in chat that's lurking you cool thanks man Aaron's Aaron's in here in chat Aaron's pretty cool I met him this year for sure. Yeah. Who else? In chat. G Force is cool. Yeah, that's really it for new people in the chat. No, my um <laughs> Thank you, Spalding. Um I don't play Genshin, right? I know Genshin's a pretty popular game. Man, that but that came out last year. Yeah, but um It just it, it didn't it just have its one year anniversary like last month? Yeah, it was September, but uh, my uh, apparently uh, when I went to Texas, my uh, my niece also plays Genshin Impact, and she's like a she's like a freshman in high school. Mhm. Mm so like you know they are like they're like they're obviously like free to play. My my. I was my gonna cousin, say obviously they're weebs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my cousin, uh, my cousin, her her dad is like he's like pretty strict. Mm -hmm. So like yeah, no no way she's spending on that game. Right. I was like, I was like, I told her I played two. And she like saw my account and she was like, she was like, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pay to win players. C6 oh, gone you. Hell no. <laughs> Fucking cheaters, bro. It's so funny, dude. Cheaters. If I knew she liked Genshin, I would have, I would have brought her some stuff here. <laughs> nice, nice. But yeah, yeah. Who, who else? Who else did I meet that was cool this year? I'm trying to think of other people who... Who did I meet this year? <laughs> I can't remember if they're not in my chat. Well, I can think of VIPs, but I feel like I gave it to them last year. Oh yeah, you definitely met. They definitely met a lot of people like through like. Oh, like, Kitty, Kitty, yeah, Kitty <laughs> got cool with Kitty this year. It was fun. Oh, Who oh, else? No. What else? I almost got into CLG. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, that would have been dude, so final, funny. That would have been so good, dude. That legit would have been so fucking good. Wait, did they ever, like, do that? Did they, they ever go through with it? They did. They did. They did their tournament thing. Oh, for sure. I think. It wasn't, like, broadcasted or anything? It was broadcasted on Bud Light's Twitch because it was a sponsored oh, event. Oh, for sure. So I don't know how that actually turned out, but I feel like... Nice. I think the games that I looked into, they were like two two O for those two games, but it was like round robin, so Oh for sure. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. It doesn't matter you weren't in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't, don't care, dude. If they lost, they'd be like, Man, that sucks, dude. They didn't have me. Yeah, how do you dude? <laughs> but if they won, be like, Man, that sucks. Could have been there. <laughs> that could have been me. That could have been me. Been, been uh, sport. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea how they how they turned out, but but yeah, what else? What else happened? What's happened this year? I'm trying to think. I, I know I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let me look through Snapchat. Oh, dude, I partied at a mansion, in a million dollar mansion, twice oh, nice. this year. That was too. That was cool. For Fourth of July weekend plus. That was Fourth of July. My birthday weekend. weekend. Yeah. Oh, I do remember your birthday weekend. Yes. We yeah, there. we went there. It was chill, dude. We had a barbecue, swimming in the pool. That shit was hype, dude. Yeah, let me look through Snapchat. I feel like Snapchat would be more representative of what I did this year. January 2020. 20. All right, it's January. 
No, no, it's not 2020, 2021. I'm an idiot. Let's see. Yeah, dude, next year, 2022, you're going to be like 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It's just pictures of my niece. I didn't do anything in February. I didn't do anything in March. Yeah, I wonder if there's any more of that pizza. <laughs> I kind of kind of want to kind of want more. Oh, I went to Anaheim Packing District for the first time in March <clears throat> or April. Yeah, that was my first time going to Anaheim Packing District. Actually, no, I I go, I go to Anaheim a lot, so but I can't I can't say that. Yeah, let's see. I jammed out with Rick and Josh, Big Josh, in in April. I mean, in May, so that was chill. Let's see, did anything else happen? Let's see, my nephew's born. I talked about that. Junior high, we should, we should, we should take new pictures for the podcast. I should, uh, should take a new picture of me feeding you something else. Hey, man, that's on you. <laughs> Dude, 2022, new out, new overlay. Yeah, well, I just need a new picture. You can keep the overlay. Overlay's sick. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll update stuff for the podcast next year for sure. <clears throat> Let's see. I didn't, I didn't do much. There's the mansion party in July. Let's see more pictures of my niece and nephew. Yeah, nothing. Porter concert. Mm. Yeah, that's really it. That's honestly it. Wow. Yeah, my year wasn't that eventful. Maybe it seemed eventful because I was just going through shit. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that was 2021, dude. Mostly video games and uh, streaming for me, so. It's not bad. Not bad, dude. <laughs> dude, the most money I made streaming, holy shit, nice in day. a year. So, it's fun. I drop I I dropped from like sixty nine subscribers, half of those being gifted, to like <laughs> sixteen. Ayo. <laughs> so tough, it is like why you eat all this. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. But yeah, I think I think we're good to end off the podcast here. Do you want to post podcast show or do you wanna just play ARAM or something? Um we can do a podcast. Let me, let me check if there's more pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right. Let's close it off. Let's close off our thoughts for 2021. And if, if there's no more pizza, we just play around. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right. Hold on. Let's close off this episode first before you look for more pizza. All right. Um, you know what? What was what was uh, what's the most exciting thing? Or what? 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 What, what did you like most this about this year? 2021. I think this year was hmm i think this year was uh the year i got to connect with some some friends i weren't as close to and i got closer with them so um you know i'm really i'm really like thankful for for them and like you know talk to them play fucking final fantasy and stuff and shit on them for you know liking final fantasy for so much <laughs> And uh, you know D and D. Oh, we started D and D this year. I take my answer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> answer. Yeah, we started, we started D and D. Like we threw, I threw Among Us out the window and put D and D in its place, and it worked out nice. So yeah, D and D was probably a really good highlight. So yeah, I really like D and D this year. Uh, I liked it a lot more than I thought it would. <clears throat> yeah, dude, you have to deal with fucking everyone trying to improv stuff now. Well, I mean, yeah, the DM is just uh, trying to make sure that his stupid players don't fucking break the game too much. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking Kaleri. Would you like a copper ring? <laughs> How about a this blanket? <laughs> I love hoarders. Sometimes you reward the hoarders, sometimes you don't. <laughs> yeah, you know, it took me like four sessions to realize that she made her character purposely quiet to be a hoarder, and that's not how <laughs> Sherry actually is as a person, so... <laughs> It took me like a whole month of session to realize that. I went, oh, shit. Because before, remember how I said I went, I went like, man, I feel so bad. Like, you know, I'm trying to talk through everything as like a pseudo leader, right? But then like, you know, Sherry doesn't talk. But all Sherry does is she nods. <laughs> all Cla all Clary does is nod and follow yeah, me getting, around. Yeah, you're getting played this whole time, dude. <laughs> dude, I got played. No, that's yeah. what he like. Like, legit. Half half the session is Kaleri 
or not half the session half of all this her character is um moon beaming ice knifing nodding and following us around <laughs> you don't need to do much in combat you know that could be the party's job (laughs) no but she doesn't even talk she's like just waits for the party to disappear and start hoarding (laughs) (laughs) what a character trope actually it's so it's so funny now that that now that we're all like very acknowledgeable we've all acknowledged it pretty well it's super funny now (laughs) it's actually super funny (laughs) but yeah you you like dnd you like dming uh, or, yeah, I like D&D. Uh, or, it's like playing D&D. It's fun. Dungeon daddying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't very eventful year, but it was fun. All right. I, I like D&D podcasts, too. Nice. It's a good excuse to talk, even though I don't like talking. <clears throat> like, you tell, like, I, I don't talk much, so I, like, I strain my voice. Mm-hmm. I remember my first time, our first session d and Mm-hmm. Was um my voice was like super strained for like a week, like after that first session. God damn, dude. Yeah. Was that yeah, the one shot cool. session or like the actual one-shot session? One shot uh, session. Yeah, fucking Tanaka. Yeah. Nice. Please don't worry, she'll be back. Oh, what? What Tanaka's gonna come back? Bullshit. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> dude, we're gonna see a dragon named Oko. <laughs> Okay. I keep in my pocket, dude. I'm gonna, ha- I'm gonna have to know every fucking Hollow Live reference in our D and D campaign, plus anime references. Yeah. God damn, we're gonna come Wait. back, and be like, you've made it to the ocean. Now you see a giant, you see a giant squid in the ocean. What color is it? Purple. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> why is there a pirate, and why is she horny? <laughs> What is your mar- what is your name? My name is Marin. <laughs> no, it's Marnie. Mar- <laughs> Marnie. I, I, I can't do copyright, dude. <laughs> new, 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 new Marin, dude. Like you know, SKT Marin. Ah, uh, sure, sure, sure. Dude, it's like the oh my god. There was this. There was this thing on Twitter. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. But it was super funny. I don't think. I think I put a like on it, so maybe I can find it. But I'll, I'll show it to you to post podcast show. But it was super funny. It was, it was like all the meme versions of like the Hollow Live cast. So, all right. So, last thing to close off this podcast episode. Um, one thing you hope to do in 2022. So, I'm not going to be like, if there's one thing you could change, I'm just like, what's, what's one thing you hope to do in 2022? It doesn't have to be anything big, but what do you hope to do? Um, I want to travel again. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah where i don't know i just want to travel again. all right we're road tripping in january let's <laughs> definitely out of state probably or if not out of state at least like norcal or some shit. i don't know did you try to, to go. you trying to go in vegas in february <laughs> oh no, i don't know maybe hey let's depends, go depends, dude. depends on how, how bad the, the situation gets yeah, dude, I'm 26 and I still haven't gone to Vegas from Cal- uh, Southern California to Vegas as an adult. So it's cool. Yeah, wait, I haven't gone as an adult either. Hey, let's go. Let's get this blackout. <laughs> achieve world achieve domination. World. Eradicate COVID. Hey, that's a good one, dude. If you if you achieve world domination and you eradicate COVID and world peace, dude, I would like fucking like praise your name, dude. <laughs> yeah, world domination. Spread fudge everywhere. <laughs> yeah, dude. May everyone must own a copy of Kenshi yeah all right all right and for me well, yeah. uh, um one thing i hope to do maybe maybe it's not necessarily travel more but go out and do more activities you know like 2022 2020 and 2021 you know it's been cooped up like i said i didn't really go places so i want to go out and just do more stuff dude while i'm young you know <laughs> if world domination doesn't pan out i guess i'll try the world peace period all right sounds good the group right. activities are fun, dude. Yeah, do dude. More often. Yeah, dude. Road trips, like I said, snowboarding trips. Mark. The small things like uh, like going, Vegas, like 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 going to AX with your homies. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if AX fucking actually happens this year, I'll go. I'll buy my ticket in January. We'll see what happens. Yeah, dude. Get just get refunded again. Yeah, true. As long as I get my money back, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Well, yeah. all right. Well, 2021. 2021. It's been a wild ride. We're we're gonna hit episode 100 in 2022. It's gonna be a sick. It's gonna be a sick achievement for us. And um, oh, yeah, that, that's one of the things I hope we get to. Also, I don't know, dude. That's, that's not. A, that's not even a. That's not even a if. That's a when. Dude, you you'd be surprised. Dude. Shit happens. <laughs> oh my god! Something happens, and ne- episode 100 never occurs. That would suck. Yeah. I lose my arm. I become Spencer. <laughs> Who the fuck is Spencer? Oh, it, it, it's a Capcom character, I think. I don't know who that is, dude. I don't know what I don't know what franchise he is. Yeah. Forget my reference. Yeah, yeah. I don't care who Spencer is. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you could be the fucking fourth Raikage for all I care. <laughs> Shit. There you go. There's a reference I I know you know. No, you could be you could be Sasuke. He also only has one arm. Yes, yes, yeah, fucking happened to Arthur's castle. I got like one arm, dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. At least you're not Neji with a hole in you. Um, all right. Well, anyways, Jeez. yeah, we're good. <laughs> damn, dude. Damn. All right. All right. All right let's end it. Let's end, let's, it. let's end it. All right. Peace, guys. Bye. We're going to see you in the post podcast show while Kim looks for more pizza. Happy 2021, guys. Hope all right, you enjoyed happy, it. Yeah. Happy, happy holidays and uh, see you uh next week. happy new year. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Yeah. See you next year. <laughs> okay, bye.